I know that you've heard the term, as a man thinketh, so is he. Do you want to know where that comes from? That's actually a proverb that was written by Solomon. Let me read it to you from the text. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7. You see, what I see, hear, and entertain in my mind determine my attitude toward life. How does Jesus actually help me with my outlook? When I sense frustration and fear, I consider who it is that is in charge of my life. Because you see, I've given Jesus my life so that he will handle it and take care of me throughout my entire existence. I want to introduce you to my granddaughter. She's been with us for a brief three months. She is a gift to us from God. She is the most tangible evidence of God still doing the miraculous that I could ever hope to describe to you. The moment that she drew breath, she was placed in my son's arms and my son prayed over her and gave God permission to not only enter her life, but to take care of her throughout all of her life. When she's old enough to understand my words, I will tell her every time I see her, I will tell her that she's a special gift from God, that Jesus is real and that he takes care of her and loves her beyond anything that she could possibly imagine. I will tell her stories about how Jesus protected people in the Bible and how his love is so huge that it continues to protect her and everyone else that believes in him on this earth. I will tell her how I see Jesus and how my eye has not only seen his hand in my life, but I will tell her how I've heard his voice literally call my name. She as a child has come into the world when men are unreasonable and irrational. This was the state of the world when Paul actually wrote to the Philippians in Philippians 4, 5 through 9, let your reasonableness be known to everyone, for the Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and receive and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Your reality and my reality begin in our minds. The reason people don't have peace is because they have been influenced by the lies that are around them. The only place that a human being will find truth is in the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures reveal that God is for us. He loves us. He created us. He is with us continually. They describe who he is and what he has done for us. As an example, let's look at Romans, the eighth chapter. Paul again writes, What shall we then say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who is risen to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced 
that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus, who was innocent, took the worst beating that was ever given to any man. Isaiah said of the Mashiach, the Messiah, that he would be a man of sorrows. He was beaten so that we may be healed through his stripes. He was sorrowful so that we might have joy. He suffered injustice and indignity so that we might have glory and honor before his Father. A great price was paid for your peace and mine. In Christ's day, the political system that ran the country was intermingled with a corrupt religious system that actually ran the entire program. Wake up and come to see that this is the state of affairs of our present political system, religious system today. Things are not going to get better until they get worse. The people of Egypt had to suffer through nine plagues, thinking, can it ever get worse? And then the tenth plague came, which was the death of the firstborn. Then and only then did Pharaoh renege and let God's people go. What we are about to live through is truly going to be biblical. Man can't accomplish it. it. All the glory and honor will be given to God, who is the one who will accomplish the change that will take place very soon on a worldwide scale. Remember what we just read in Romans, the eighth chapter. If God is for us, who could be against us? There is no one or anything that can separate us from the love of God. Think on these things, and it will banish your anxiety and fear in an instant. Remember, you are not built to be able to think of two things at the same time. Jesus is real. He paid a price for you specifically, and he loves you eternally. You have been inscribed upon the palms of his hands, your walls are continually before him. That quote is from Isaiah. You can trust him with your life because he has conquered death. For the assurance of salvation, repeat Romans 10 verse 9 with me now. I say with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And according to Romans 10 verse 10, you are saved. Remember, on the 15th and 30th of every month, this channel will reveal the love of God that he has through his son, Jesus Christ, for you personally. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with everyone. God bless you.